Right then, this is a rant about the YouTube algorithm, because once again it's fucked up and this is really pissing me off that this YouTube algorithm seems to be completely useless and very annoying. So first thing, the first reason why I'm actually making this rant is because my recent video has got less than a third of the views it should have got for over two days and I can't see how this video would randomly only get a third of its views compared to the previous video. It's the YouTube algorithm messing about again. The YouTube algorithm has not given the videos to the subscribers. It's very annoying it does this, it's like the algorithm randomly decides, oh today I'm going to make sure this video is put right at the top of people's subscriptions list. Next day, oh we're not going to publish this video to the subscribers. It's really random and you can't track down exactly its reasons, although this time I published the video, I think it was 23 hours after the last video, and usually if I publish it less than 24 hours, sometimes the algorithm doesn't like the video for some reason. It is really annoying, so first things first, if you haven't seen my latest video, which is called Various Views of Trains in Zagreb, make sure you take a look at it, because you might enjoy this video. The YouTube algorithm thinks you won't enjoy it, because it hasn't published it to your subscriptions. Well, it has for some people, but not for most people. But, does this the YouTube algorithm correct? Is this video of mine a bad video that shouldn't be published? Or is it just the algorithm fucking up again? The problem with the algorithm is it is just random with which videos it favours and which videos it doesn't favour. It really favours YouTube Shorts. Now I personally hate YouTube Shorts because it's based around TikTok. Firstly, it's in portrait. The whole point of a phone is it's got an accelerometer. You rotate a phone and the screen rotates accordingly. It works well. But hey, you might as well stop putting accelerometers in phones because no one seems to actually use that feature anymore. So the whole point of TikTok and YouTube Shorts is to save you having to turn the phone around. Why? The whole point of a phone is you turn it around so it looks good for videos in landscape and you turn it back to portrait because it's easier to use one handed in portrait. But despite the biology of the human eye being in landscape, a lot of people today are too lazy to turn their phones around and watch everything in portrait. So everyone likes to watch TikTok and YouTube Shorts. The worst thing at YouTube Shorts is all of the videos are very in your face. There's never anything and you feel, wow, that's a good video. Or there's never anything that's like really sort of meaningful. It's just quick, snappy stuff. Push things in your face as quick as possible to try and keep your attention span, to keep people watching, to get them ad revenue. It's all stuff that appeals to the lowest common denominator. And lowest common denominator means it's looking for the most number of people to watch a video, which ultimately means downgrading the level of content to the simplest content because content that's sophisticated or interesting or efforts put into it often appeals to certain groups of people interested in that content. It doesn't appeal to necessarily all of the different groups of people watching and people who want to watch a really good long video are also often somewhat happy to watch a very short video but people with very short attention spans which are only willing to watch a very short video are not going to watch a long video which therefore means because of the lowest common denominator effect the video which most number of people collectively together will want to watch is the video that gets pushed more on YouTube meaning the simplest crappiest in your face content with no substance to it. Also, the other thing about YouTube algorithm which really pisses me off in the modern day is you don't know exactly what it's doing anymore. In the past, let's talk about back in 2009 when I started my channel. Back then, things were much nicer. Firstly, you could actually colour theme your YouTube channel. You could put your YouTube channel into any colour you want. You could have any colour hex code and make it just how you want it. That and a lot of the other customization features for how your channel looks have gone now. But every YouTube channel now looks pretty much the same, taking away users' creativity. As well as that, for a channel like mine, I've forgotten how many videos I've got. Actually, I should probably have looked it up before I started this, but I've got well over 3,000 videos now. I'm not sure if I've got to 4,000. The thing with that many videos is, it's often it's hard for people to find what are my best videos and which videos to watch, simply because I've got so many of them. The problem is, the lack of different sections you can have on your channel means you can't include all of the playlists that I want to include to point people to the best videos. It ends up meaning that a lot of my best content is lost in the number of videos I make so people don't see my best content and looking at which videos of mine get the most viewed. Often it's some of my worst videos that get the most views and I find that depressing. I put a lot of effort into a brilliant video and then gets pushed down the list as I make new videos and then no one ever sees it again. Some crappy video I did such as smashing a fan which to be honest it's kind of fun to do but it's certainly not like good content compared to other stuff I'm doing. Hey it gets millions of views. Well that's how things go. Other thing about YouTube algorithm, the biggest thing I want to rant about is the whole AI thing with it. Now AI officially stands for artificial intelligence, which is a term I really hate. Now 
computers can do tasks which are you know, within their scopes intelligent to some extent. But that is not new. That can date back to a long time ago, even as far back as like the 90s. You say a gearbox in the car, if you've got an automatic gearbox, that's to change gear at the right moment to get the gear change to happen smoothly. What happens is when you drive a car and the gearbox has just been reset or the car is new, often it gets the gear changes wrong, then over time it learns from its mistakes and then corrects itself. And that is because the algorithm is looking at how well it changed gear and then improves on it before. So machine learning is not a new thing. People make it sound like it's this brand new invention of the 2020s. It's not. It's been around for ages. What's different in the modern day is people put more of a thing about something being AI, artificial intelligence. But it's trying to go down the science fiction route of saying like a computer does things for itself. I think this is wrong on multiple things. Firstly, computers should only be able to do something intelligent within the scope of what they're doing. The whole idea a computer can do anything without you fully knowing because it thinks it knows best is wrong. I wouldn't want to live in a world where computer decision making takes over from human decision making and the computer gets too much power within its decision making. It should be kept limited within a limited task it's doing rather than being a complete free for all. Secondly, the whole science fiction aspect of it is basing it on some science fiction movie along the lines of, oh, one day the computer will start being conscious and it will start thinking for itself. No, it fucking well won't. The whole point of a computer is it computes stuff, it runs a program. The whole idea of a computer being conscious, as well as it being completely unethical, it physically can't happen. And I find it depressing that this is even a topic of conversation nowadays, because it's like the general culture around what people think of as computers should be about programming and things operating. It shouldn't be about thinking your computer somewhat intelligent, because it's not. And even though in the modern day computers are doing ever so clever tasks, this doesn't mean in any way a computer is somehow going to come conscious in the future. Ultimately, AI should be standing for algorithm improved. Not artificial intelligence, it's algorithm improved. It's taking algorithms and it's improved them. Although not really improved them, when the algorithm's doing things and you don't know what it's doing. For example, on my phone, sometimes when I go past the building that's got Wi-Fi, my phone will suddenly turn on the Wi-Fi, even though I didn't ask it to, and it'll then go, oh, by the way, would you like to connect to this Wi-Fi? I'm like, no. I've got perfectly good mobile data. I don't want to connect to some crappy Wi-Fi, especially when I'm actually doing something on my phone. Then the mobile data is automatically switched off because it thinks I want this Wi-Fi, even though I've never used that Wi-Fi before. Why would a phone think it can decide for me? And why does it pick certain Wi-Fi and decides, oh, I'm going to turn off mobile data now because I want you to use this Wi-Fi. But on another Wi-Fi, it doesn't do that. I hate this whole thing where algorithm on a computer is designed to think it knows better than you. That's against how computers should work. The algorithm should do what you tell it to and what you want it to do. It shouldn't think it knows better. And this is back to the subject of a video. This is what's gone wrong with YouTube. The algorithm thinks it knows better. For example, if I subscribe to a channel, that's because I want to see every video that channel does appear in my subscriptions. So if I click on a channel and I click subscribe, that means that if that channel has a new video, I want that to appear in my subscriptions so I get notified of it. What that means is I don't want the algorithm to then pick and choose which one of those videos it's going to then show me. Now, let's just take this scenario. Let's say there's a YouTuber that does two different subjects of video on their YouTube channel, which could apply to me because I do multiple subjects on my channel. But let's say it's two different subjects and you subscribe to that user. Now let's say one of those two subjects is more popular than the other subject. The YouTube algorithm will start second guessing which videos it, you want it to push to your subscription feed. But this is wrong because if I click subscribe, I don't want it deciding for me. I've already decided for myself that I want every one of that user's videos to appear in my subscriptions. Especially if on the two subjects of video that this, this example user is making. Let's say I prefer the less popular subjects. Then that subject is less likely to show up in my subscriptions. Especially if that user uploads regularly. The algorithm is only going to show me in my subscriptions the more popular subject. And the less popular subject is just going to not be put into my subscriptions feed. This is what's wrong with the YouTube algorithm. I don't want the algorithm to work out for me. I want to click subscribe because I want the videos to appear in my subscriptions as my free choice. Because that's what I've chosen to do. The algorithm shouldn't think it knows better and shouldn't pick and choose which videos it does show and which ones it doesn't show. And this is what's pissed me off. I don't care what videos are more popular because usually the popular videos are appealing to the lowest common denominator as usually the simpler ones, the ones that are less interesting. I want to choose for myself which videos I'm wanting to watch by doing things like subscribing to channels. As well as this being annoying to me as a viewer, this is even more annoying to me as a content creator because it means that every now and again, the YouTube algorithm suddenly decides it's not going to show a certain one of my videos into subscribers' subscription feed. 
and that pisses me off. So make sure you go onto my channel and look through my videos because you never know, I might have released a really good video and you never get to hear about it because it might have not appeared in your subscription feed. So please keep manually checking my channel.